Welcome back to another MLB recap. I have a couple things to go over and starting off with some game action from Saturday night. Pete Alonso in the top of the eighth is going to be hit in the helmet. Now the Mets are down two runs at this point and he really takes exception to it and he's not as much even barking at the pitcher but you can see him right towards Logan Ohapi the catcher. It looks like he's in his face so I don't know if Ohapi said something or a lack thereof saying something. Buck Showalter he's running out there right away just to check on Pete but then Pete he gets very heated. You could see him and Ohapi are just jawing at each other, and Pete does not look happy when they're saying it. So there's really no reason to believe that this would be intentional because of nothing really happened previously in the game to lead you to believe that. But at the same time, Pete could be arguing, like, what are we doing coming up in there? If you have no control of that, then you shouldn't be throwing that because that's a very dangerous pitch. When you're throwing inside, that's one thing, but up and in when it goes by your head and your helmet, that is very dangerous. So you could get the frustration from Pete. Now for the next part of this video, Felix Bautista has been placed on the 15-day IL with a UCL injury. Orioles GM Mike Elias said he's not sure if he'll be able to return this season, and a lot of times when there's any question with an elbow injury, the worst usually happens. Elbow injuries are just never anything you want, even if you're just going to the IL with a sore UCL, with the way things have been trending, whether it's Shohei, Shane McClanahan, it's just not a good thing for baseball right now, and Felix Bautista ever so important to that Orioles team. That would be a massive blow. Angels GM Perry Manassian revealed that the Angels offered to do an MRI in Shohei's arm earlier this month, but Shohei and his agent refused because they didn't think it was necessary. Now, when this was reported today, a lot of people were interpreting it as the Angels were almost throwing Shohei under the bus for this injury or blaming him that it's coming out that he tore his UCL. So a lot of people are thinking Shohei will be rubbed the wrong way about that. Let me know your thoughts about this comment. Mookie Betts might be the hottest player on earth really since the end of May. He's just been ridiculous, hidden north of 350 since then. He has an OPS over 1,000. He has a bad and average over 310. It's five hit games. It's three hit games. It's everything. He's stacking them up every night. And he was plus 3,000 to win MVP just a couple weeks ago. Now he's plus 230, trailing Ronald Acuna, who's minus 200. But a couple weeks ago, we would view Ronald Acuna as almost a runaway MVP candidate. A lot of people were just kind of thinking it was a foregone conclusion, but then Mookie Betts has really separated himself from Freddie Freeman, Matt Olson, and is making the case that Mookie Betts could be the NL MVP.